Hey guys, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video. And as you know, the Dying Light, the Beast is out now. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your FPS, get better performance and what are the best settings for Windows to improve your FPS. Make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, set number one is the best window settings and for that open up settings onto your PC and then click on personalization. Head over to colors and turn the transparency effects off. This will disable windows and surfaces appear translucent. Then you have to click on gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. This is an overlay service and while running in the background, it consumes your CPU and GPU resources. After that, click on gaming back again, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, allowing you to improve your FPS. Then click on the graphics button and then you have to enable optimization for windowed games click on advanced graphics settings and enable hardware extra to gpu scheduling after that what you have to do is simply open up steam right click on your game head over to manage and then click on browse local files head over to ph underscore ft then work then bin and then x64 you'll find dying light game underscore the beast x64 you have to copy this file path go back to setting head over to the add desktop app button over here and paste the file path select dying light game and then click on the add button once that is added scroll down and select the game for the gpu preference select high performance over here here and once that is done simply close your settings next step is compatibility settings and for that go to the download location of your game and once you're over here head over to phft work bin and then right click on your game head over to its properties and then over here head over to compatibility select disable full screen optimizations and then click on change high dpi settings select this option and then click on apply this will help you to get fixed your input latency next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for edit group policy on your pc and note that this step will only be available for windows pro users once you're over here double click on computer configuration then administrative template windows components app privacy and right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background double click to open it up and make sure that this is set to enable default for all applications should be set to force deny and this will deny all of the applications running in the background this will save a lot of your system's resources the next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and over here select custom only enable save as a thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen Font. All of these options will help you to keep the minimal and basic look of your windows intact while disabling all of the other unwanted animations on your PC to save your system's resources. Next, head over to the advanced tab and make sure that the processor scheduling is set to program. Now you have to change your virtual memory. Click on the change button over here and deselect automatically manage paging file size. Select your local disk C and for the initial size go with 1361 open up your calculator and now multiply your ram that is 32 gb for me with 1024 divide this value by 2 and the new value that you get over here is to be pasted in the maximum size over here click on the set button ok and then close it next step is system configuration and for that simply search for system configuration and open it up over here head over to the boot section and then click on advanced option click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available for your pc click on ok and select no gui boot click on the apply button and then head over to services select hide all microsoft services and then I would suggest you to disable all kind of browser update service and other RGB and fan control service because they consume your CPU resources in the background. Disabling these services will help you to optimize the performance of your PC drastically. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point and then select your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it dying light beast and then click on the create button. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your game settings back to normal without any form of data loss. Once that is done, click on close and close system properties. The next step is dying light the beast fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys will find in six very simple folders over here the first one is cpu priority in which i have left amd as well as intel cpu priority if you guys have an amd cpu you can double click and apply this priority and similarly for the intel priority this will update a d word value for how the processor performs and it will help you to optimize the performance second is ram optimization which does the same thing as cpu optimization but for your ram i have left a ton of presets according to your pc i have 32 gb ram so i need to double click and apply this registry and once again if that doesn't work out well you can always reset it back to default third folder is dltp priority in which i have left above normal high priority and normal priority i would request you guys to leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here fourth one is disable unwanted services in which i have left a ton of services which are absolutely useless but they are still running in the background and they are consuming your cpu's resources except if you use any bluetooth or printer services i would like you to disable all of these services over here and once again if you want to turn any of them back again head over to the revert folder and then you can enable it back again from here fifth one is power plan settings in which i have 
left import ultimate performance power plan what you have to do is right click and run it as administrator and this will run a powershell command to add a new power plan into the list to access that double click on power plans and then you wanna have to select ultimate performance which should be added in the hidden power plans over here this will disable all kind of power saving features and allow your pc to run all of the hardware on maximum throttle after that head over to the programs folder in which i have left clean temporary files you wanna have to right click and run it as administrator and then you wanna have to press enter and this will delete all temporary files off of your pc i would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then because it keeps your pc optimized after that simply close it next is msi mode utility 3.0 simply right click and run it as administrator this software allows you to optimize the performance of your gpu and how you can do that simply select your graphic card and make sure that the msi button next to it is checked on after that interrupt priority should be set to high and then click on the apply button this will change the interrupt priority of your gpu and allow it to handle more interrupts without overclocking it ultimately improving the performance after that simply close it and close the fps pack next step is defragging your hard disk drive and optimizing your ssds for that simply search for defrag and optimize drives over here and open it up. select your local disk c and then click on the optimize button if this is a hard disk drive you have to click on analyze and then optimize it if it is a ssd you guys have to simply click on the optimize button and it will simply trim the ssd which will help you to optimize the performance of your storage drives once that is done simply click on close and now you guys can drop into the game for the best in game settings okay once you're in your game press your escape key and then head over to options under the game settings if you have aura sync available make sure that this is turned off then under the video settings make sure that you're using full screen or windowed borderless both of them works absolutely fine vsync should be turned off dynamic resolution scaling i have turned this thing off as well fps limiter off upscaler type you can use dlss if you have an nvidia graphics card or fsr if you have an amd graphics card make sure to set the upscaling mode to balanced or performance if you guys have low fps i'll just keep it to balanced latency reduction i have kept with reflex plus boost and frame generation if this is available for you guys turn it on and once that is done you have to press x to save these settings and then you can go back and enjoy your game with the highest fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel and we are really close to 250,000 subscribers so a sub would definitely help and support me i'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out